Okay, um, how to remove the halftone pattern from this photo. I found a, a text version of a, a tutorial on how to fix this, so I thought I would make a video version of their tutorial. Um, the first thing they did was duplicate the layer, and then they made that into a smart object. Then they went to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and they gave that a radius of 1.5 pixels for their particular photo. This one um, could could probably take a little bit more, maybe 1.8, something about there, 1.7, 1.8, um, to get rid of that pattern. Then on top of that, they added an unsharp mask. So they went to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And they gave that a radius of five pixels. With an amount of about 120. and they kept the threshold at one. Now, all of these uh, settings would make a difference on your photo. You have to play with the settings to make it work the way uh, you want it to work. Um, the um, Probably you should set your radius first and then work on your amount and threshold. And you'll just have to play with them to see what happens to find the best combination of values. Now because this was created into a smart object, you can go back and make changes if you uh, decided, if I zoom in a little bit here, more than 100%, um, actually doesn't look too bad, but if I, I decided I wanted to change the blur, I could decrease the blur and see what happens. You get a little bit of that pattern back. I can turn the blur back up and I'm just scrolling with my mouse wheel because this is highlighted in blue you don't have to grab the slider you can just scroll your mouse wheel to change that setting now that's uh, 1.7 pixel but um, I thought that worked pretty well for this particular photo